Using nothing more than a web browser to access JReport Live Server, the end user can create his or her own report based on report building blocks provided by the report developer. While not as full featured as the IDE of JReport Designer, this feature empowers end users to create sophisticated reports on the fly. We'll create an ad hoc report that will be just like the sales analysis report shown here. We'll click the New button to launch the ad hoc report wizard, which will collect our report requirements. We'll enter our report title, and then select a report layout of crosstab. Next, we'll choose the data source from the set that the report developer has made available to us. We'll choose crosstab analysis. Now we specify the data fields that we want to appear as the columns and rows of our crosstab. The product categories will be the columns, and the regions in which our product sales occurred will be the rows. We'll have two summaries in our crosstab, the total actual sales and the total planned sales. We can modify the default column and row headings to say whatever we like. In this case, we'll shorten them to help them fit in the column heading space, and to also match the text in the original port we are duplicating here. Once we click Finish, we can see that the crosstab has been created. The query to the data source was built and executed based on what our crosstab needed. The column headings for our six types of coffee beans are shown, and the four regions appear as our row headings on the left. Both the actual and planned sales totals are shown for each category and region. The display names are as we specified them. The report is functionally complete, but let's apply a new style to the report by choosing a predefined style from the style drop-down list. We'll use the same style of the original sales analysis report, JReport Demo. If we want to call out totals that warrant special attention, we can use conditional formatting. For example, we can identify any actuals that were over $700,000 by creating a condition to this effect. We'll right-click the total actual aggregation and then build the condition. We'll set the current field to a value greater than or equal to $700,000. Next, we'll specify the color that we want to appear as a background in the sales that have aggregations that meet our condition. We'll choose yellow. The condition is immediately applied, and as a result, we can see that the large actuals are shown with yellow backgrounds. We can create and add new measures to our crosstab by using the Dynamic Resources feature. First, we'll create a formula to represent the value that we want to add. In this case, we want to show the difference between the actual sales total and the planned sales total. We'll name our formula F1 and build it by choosing the data fields and the operators to create the difference. First, actual sales minus planned sales. the formula created, we can right-click and create a measure based on it. We'll name our measure Actual Minus Plan. And then we can simply drag and drop our new measure to the crosstab area in which we want it to appear. And we can see that the actual minus plan values is shown for each region 
and each category.